Hey, what is up, guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Angry Birds Evolution video. All right, so we have the new event called Everton Soccer Stars. Um, this is a very cool and unique event because in the last event, uh, the last time we have had this particular Everton Soccer Stars event was last year, and it was held only once. All right, only once. So I assume it's going to be a one one year once a year thing so hopefully you guys will be able to hatch all the featured birds right here uh, not sure if we are still in the beginning of the year of 2019 so maybe we might be able to have two of these events this year but yeah not too sure about it i wouldn't count on it because there's going to be plenty of uh new birds or pigs coming out so definitely if you want to hatch these exclusive birds now's the chance okay so it's a very unique event in terms of buffs as well because you can see they are giving three birds with 500% uh, buff which is awesome which is cool usually there's only one 500% and then there's one like 250% uh, or something like that I can't remember the exact one but this is the first time we are having like 500% with three birds three birds right here all right so what do we have at the final stage let's scroll all the way all the freaking way I'm scrolling with a finger boom Okay, so we get the master, uh, I forgot that guy's name, let me check out, Burstiano Igaldo. So that is the master version of the Burstiano Igaldo, very cool. Um, when they first released this, it was during the World Cup, was it last year or was it two years ago? I can't really remember, but holy man, that was, um, you can basically hatch whichever country by random, and I got the Colombia's one which is interesting so yeah you have the ability to get this bird this time around I assume I'm going to assume that it's random the country that you obtain it by alright so in terms of the hatch uh, this is also a unique one we have this Sanctosin so Sanctosin um, so this time they swap him to the first usually Teo Welkert is first Thank goodness they swapped Sanctosin to be first. Uh, I personally think that Sanctosin is one of the uh, one of the better blackbirds and in fact one of the better event birds compared to the other two. Jilfi Sigurdsson is pretty good as well. If you need stun, one of the evolution that he has at level 60, the one that looks like Thor, that's the one that I'm using. That particular evol evolution has stun. For one turn though, um, so the Jilfi Sigurdsson does has the ability to stun. Just keep in mind that it will be one turn less than Leo Packer. So in terms of stunning, I would still highly suggest Leo Packer. So I'm not sure of the interaction though. Uh, I remember back then there was some sort of bugs relating to their stuns. Like if you use Jufi Sigurdsson and then you use Leo Packer afterwards, uh, the stun was only one turn from Leo Packer. So definitely some sort of bug. Not sure if it's fixed. Uh, I've yet to test that. Um, I've stopped using Jilfi Sigurdsson ever since, but definitely um, you should give him a chance. Uh, the stun is definitely very useful and it bounces the birds around unlike Grandfather Frost which uh, any pigs that are struck by him will just turn to the other side. They won't move. They will not move from their spot. Okay, so am I gonna hatch them? I don't think so because none of these are the master birds. Um, it's such a bummer, like not even Teo Walcott has the master version. So I find it kind of odd that they didn't introduce any of these birds in their master's variant. Uh, very weird, like if you ask me it's sort of weird, but okay. So in terms of my team, most likely I'm going to swap them in, so let's see what can I do. So I do have Grandfather Frost, I am going to bring, let's see. Yep, so Jilfi Sigurdsson at Prestige 5. So this is the one I'm talking about, this particular evolution, the Hammer Time. So attacks with 3 mirror images, deals damage, stuns all picks, hit for 1 turn. So doesn't have any runes though, I might... Yeah, I will give him a rune, that for sure, and I'll use him in the current event. Uh, maybe instead of Frost, I will use him instead. Hmm, and then we have the Sanctosin, Rock Blast, and this is the Onis Rage. Hmm. 
So they are both pretty good, but I personally like the Rogue Blast better because this one creates uh, three different explosions if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and it increases by 10 damage each, and it sort of like suck the pick the picks in towards the explosion. So in in terms of that, it's kind of cool, if you ask me. So let's level up the super shot. Boom. Okay, so most likely I'm gonna place uh, him here. Place him as the leader. I don't know. And then tier wild card maybe somewhere here. Like, is this good enough? I think this team will should be able to carry me all the way. Uh, let's have a look. In terms of villain birds, uh, that doesn't seem that good. Special forces. So that one, special forces. This is villain birds. Um, Okay, I have one more villain bird and one more, right? Is this a villain? This is supernatural. Is this a villain? This is supernatural. Okay, so interesting. I have no idea who I should set as leader. Uh, I guess I could do something like this as well. Nah, better for the yellow bird to be... Yeah, better for the yellow bird to be in the nearer to the middle so that way it's easier to aim this super shot mm, yeah I do have one more tier well cut so that one has not yet been pre-stitched so most likely I'm going to stick to this tip and I'm going to see how far this will be able to carry me so overall if you guys have not yet hatched any of these birds go ahead for me personally since I've already hatched them I don't see the need for me to obtain, obtain them again I do have Two Sanctosans, like you guys just saw. I have two Teo Welkers. I have only one Jill Fisigertson though. So I might, not too sure, but I might go for a second Jill Fisigertson. Alright, so we'll have a look uh, at how bad my luck is. <laughs> and then you guys can laugh at me. Alright, so let's do some Eagle Mountain. Byron, okay. Let's go stick to the third door all the way. 50 goal. To be honest, I haven't been very lucky with the Eagle Mountain lately. I have no idea why. It seems like they sort of changed the algorithm a little bit. Maybe it's much more um, crucial for me to switch up the doors more often instead of just sticking to a single door. Alright, that seems to work for now. Premium Hatch! Ah, oh, Evolution Essences, of course. Let's see. Alright, 200 gold. Perfect, perfect. Another 200 gold. Oh no! Like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, is it worth paying 20 gems? Like, ugh. Okay, I guess we'll go for it. Usually I would just give up, but since I'm making a video recording this, uh, might as well risk it a little bit. Let's go for the first door. Okay, now that is worth it. 20 gems for one premium hatch ticket? I'll take it for sure. Okay, now this is a nervous part. I don't know which door to go for now. Usually when I get captured the next door, I'm like, ugh, so scared because there might be a capture next turn. Fought. Woohoo! Should have gone for the third. I should jump back to the third. Let's go. Yes! Okay, that 20 gems, worth it! <laughs> oh man, getting three premium hatch tickets already. Four! Oh yes. Oh man, I feel like I should just stop right here, but like certain gut of me feel like I want to be greedy a little bit. Sticking to the third door again. Let's go. Oh, very scary. 50 evolution materials. Like, it would be nice uh, if I can reach floor 12 successfully without getting captured. Okay, so that means I will be getting 20 gems in return. The 20 gems that I paid for, big deal, right? So now I'm not losing anything, but should I risk it from this point onwards? Let's go to floor 15. Let's go. 200 gold. I can do this. Believe in me, guys. Ah, oh, man. Oh my gosh, that hurts. All right, I'll be paying the 50 gems. Whatever, man. Whatever pick. Fat pick. Premium hatch? No, evolution materials. All right. Time to quit, I guess. A uh, hundred gems for the next capture. Not worth it at all. At least I do get uh, 20 gems in return. Uh, four premium hatch tickets. 
pretty decent rewards right there. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the video here. As always, thanks a lot for watching. I've still yet to actually level up and evolve my uh, Master Engramedon that I obtained in the last event. And same goes for Billy as well. Damn, like I've been delaying on them for so long. I, I feel like I need to make a, a specific video on that. So yeah, hopefully you guys stay tuned on that. As always, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, give this video a like, turn on the notifications bell as well. I will try to post more videos on this game. Um, hopefully, try to force myself to relearn the interface because um, yeah, need some time getting used to. As always, have a nice day. Goodbye.